Um, so he definitely knows his way around Ike Ditto. So that's gonna be very interesting to see how that plays out. But we're gonna be getting into our winners finals here. We got Ven who just got done 3 0 ing a uh, an all over the place sharp <laughs> doing a, uh, a smashdown challenge. And uh, gonna be taking on Burst, who just got done in a very, very tight contested set with Chunky Kong. We're starting on PS2 here. Uh, see how both these players are gonna find their way around each other. Ven's been doing a really good job uh, just with consistency all around. Yeah, Ven's really experienced in this matchup, but there's like subtle differences between, you know, the Yoshi's Ven's used to playing and, uh, and Burst. So I think that's what he's really gonna be trying to figure out here. Like, how, what is a burst brand of Yoshi and how I'm going to adapt to it? So far, having a pretty rough time, taking tons of percent, can't really get much set up. And uh, this is, again, this is another kind of character that can just drift around all the setups of Zelda without, you know, super uh, hard difficulty. So uh, Vin's going to have to change up the way he normally plays neutral, I feel. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's exactly as you said. Yoshi just has so many tools. Uh, very good mobility in the air as well. Oh, that was a huge read and yeah. not going to be able to get it. Uh, fortunately for Ven, that could have been disastrous. Yeah. Like, if someone's going for that type of read in me in game one, I I'm already shook. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I was yeah, very, right. very close to you. It's not, it's not the second stock, too. It's not like uh, the third stock where you you really got to read on somebody. A second stock you've got to read? That's 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 terrifying. Yeah. But yeah, so far, uh, that's the other thing is, like, even if um, even if Ven decides to kind of hang back here, you know, just try to get some projectiles going, Yoshi has a pretty decent uh, up special with the egg toss in general. I mean, it can bounce, uh, get some weird bounces and just try to build up damage from afar. So it's not like Ben can just really sit in the back and do nothing. Yep. Also, Burst Smash is really good. <laughs> He's mashed out of like, oh, so many grabs. I'm actually very impressed that he can mash out at such a high percent. Right. And that's the other thing to kind of keep in mind here is uh, we've actually seen a few trades now uh, Yoshi's Nair is absolutely disgusting in this game, uh, and will actually clank with so much and just continue to be active. It's it's kind of wild. Yeah, I think it's frame five too. It's, it's Something crazy quick. like I know, that. I know for that. Uh, I, I can check that out. Yeah, one of the best, if not the best, like out of shield aerials in the game. Oh. Uh, but Nair is frame three. Three. <laughs> That's. I was so being generous with five, it's actually three. <laughs> Having a frame three Nair out of shield is ridiculous. Uh, not not out of shield. It's just it, the Nair itself is frame three. Oh yeah. But, okay. uh, let me let me double check because uh, <laughs> uh, ultimate frame data does have a uh, a few different uh, stats in terms of like you know what people smash is options out of shield. Let's see. Uh, let me get here real quick. Don't get sniped. Oh, I know. Like out of. Ooh. I was gonna say. Oh, wow. I think if you let go, I know letting go of shields is about roughly five frames. So I think like it's like frame eight. I could six. be wrong. Yeah, six. Okay, I was gonna it's, say. <laughs> it's yeah. frame six. But it doesn't matter how many frames you can get out of shield, because uh, if you're uh, getting hit anyway, it doesn't matter. And right now, man, Ben's doing a great job piling on this damage. Yoshi at 140. That's a tough spot to be in. Oh, he gets sniped from so far away. Honestly, man, that was a big comeback for Vin. He just seemed to be on the back foot the majority of that game, but he got he got one lightning kick, and then Vin just kind of fell apart for Burst, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think that's just uh, what I mentioned with Vin earlier. It's just Vin's been so consistent. Uh, we saw them play against Vixel earlier, and that was a good set. Uh, got down to game three, but just the consistency from Ven finding the, the setups, finding the confirms, getting the aerials, and hits in the right spot. And then we, we saw them play against Sharp, and he just, just knows how to get the game plan, how to implement the game plan uh, without really falling behind too far. And even if they fall behind, they, they it's Zelda. Like <laughs> You just sit back a little bit and try to build up some damage, and you'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, and most most of you guys were, you know, born in the offline space. Ven didn't see it until he became of age and was finally able to go to offline. Ven was definitely one of the all those brought online veterans for sure. So he's no stranger yeah. to online tournaments. I actually forgot about that. 
Like it's, he's he's like been established offline for so long now that I forgot that like he's oh he's, oh okay, okay okay thank you double jump armor please yeah. don't die like that yeah but, Ven Ven definitely had it scouted out though yeah yeah honestly maybe if he got the strong uh spike might have been enough to deal with the double jump armor there but still I, we're already kind of seeing a whole different Ven at the start of this game. That, that pisses me off, man. <laughs> when Zelda can sit there and like, hey, watch my great boxing options. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I don't, I don't need to hear that. I don't need to hear that that you're you're boxing well with with Zelda, man. Just sit behind, you know, sit on the other side of the stage. Throw your projectiles, man. I don't, I don't want to see you spike me three times. Yeah, but that's the part what makes Vince so good as Zelda is that he uses all the tools of the character. It, he's not just like one-dimensional, one-trick pony type player. No, oh, not at all. Grab. Oh, tech good, good oh, wait, good wait, good wait. Slow. That's normally such a really good tech chase. Uh, pop him on the platform with the egg and then get the up smash, but he's a little bit too slow. Okay. Oh, that was clean. Would have yeah. definitely caught the get up option or the roll. Pretty much everything locked up, even if Burst tried to go for a jump from the ledge. Oh, oh wow. yep. Yeah, Ven Guaranteed. tried to tried to get a little creative there, recover right on the stage, try to get that Pharaoh's win hitbox, uh, but Burst can sit there and hold shield and take that first stock. Oh man, no one's ready for how huge that knight <laughs> those sword hitbox is. <laughs> he was so high in the air and he just his little legs got clipped. Well, let's see how Ven can find a way to take this lead back here, because right now Burst is doing an excellent job. Uh, building up some damage and just trying to control the the pace of the game here. Okay, yeah, definitely was looking for that forward air, but Ven gonna get an up air of his own. Almost getting another one. That would have been scary. Okay. A good teleport from Ven, knowing not to actually roll from the ledge. Most opponents, especially somebody as skilled as Burst, would know, okay, if he's gonna roll, I can punish that easily. Mm -hmm. Get from the landing here. Good neighbor who's left the stall. Goes off the deep end, of course. Yeah, that was just really good stuff from Ven altogether. Not in a rush to get back to stage, knowing that they still have resources. But unfortunately, it does not matter enough as Burst is going to hunt them down with yet another up air to close out that second stock. And now we're seeing Burst, uh, you know, do, doing a pretty good job here. Yeah, definitely a huge improvement over the, the first stock. Okay. Oh, good here. Just a... <laughs> man, so forward smash. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. So last time Burst got away with neutral get up thing in that same timing, but uh, this time Vin just held the forward smash charge a little bit longer, so was able to hit him. All right, there we go. Pharaoh's win gonna be able to not Pharaoh's win. Nehru's love gonna be able to find a way out of that Yoshi pressure there. But man, gonna be able to get back on stage and throw out that down tilt just to get a, a little bit more space in burst favor. Oh, the snipe again, man! Ooh. Another one. Second time he's gonna drop a game just being sniped off stage with that dense fire. Honestly. It's really effective versus Yoshi and the way he likes to jump off stage and use his up B. Because it just goes at that super far arc and go really high or really low. Uh, yeah. It's uh, kind of difficult to avoid that off stage as Yoshi, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's the way that like we see Ven use Knight. Knight covers such a, an angle that specifically Ven doesn't have to worry about covering anymore because Knight's there. Once you set up Din's Fire to cover aerials or to try to read your opponent when they go for landings like that, then you start to really put your opponent in a really rough spot. Again, uh, Burst does have the option of uh, the Inkling, but I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, speak oh, of the yeah, devil. Okay. There it is. All right, let's see. Let's see how the Inkling fares. If he can make the reverse 3-0 dream happen. I mean, this is definitely going to be tough. You do have kind of a similar game plan with, uh, you know, using aerials to try and stuff out some of Zelda's options. Granted, uh, Inkling's a lot faster on the ground as well, and that back air is absolutely massive. But, I mean, 
I felt like Burst was doing a good enough job with Yoshi, just a couple of, you know, small shortcomings. Like, we saw him take a really good control in that game one. Unfortunately, Ven found a way to close out the end. And then in game two, it was the same situation. Did a really good job building up damage. And then Ven just happened to find a way to close it out. Yeah, uh, I so think this... I think this inkling pick is really, really good for for Burst, just because you have the speed to kind of get in and out of Zelda. You have the disjointed back air, which is also really, really good. If you look at Ven as a whole, and I saw the chat earlier, that's the crazy thing about Ven. He is the best offline Zelda, but he's also the best online Zelda. So he dominates two planes of existence. Yeah, it's. I mean, <laughs> Zelda, Zelda's a pretty good character. Wi-Fi uh, projectiles tend to be a bit harder to react to, especially that night with that huge hitbox. But I mean. They, they, he's he's established offline as well and man that knight gonna be able to snipe <laughs> right uh, that stock right out of burst uh this is gonna be a tough spot to come back from i don't know <laughs> this is it might be too late already I, I don't know yeah it's not easy to uh get a kill with inkling in this matchup i feel great right, let's trump though but uh mm -hmm. yeah he needs the up throw up air window or up smash out shield that'll work but uh I don't think he's gonna get very many roller kills, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I mean, roll, the, 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 kinda... distance, the distance he's fighting, like Zelda in general, is so far away from Inkling that he has so much time to react to roller and shield. Right, right. No, because like roller, roller's a bit telegraphed. Like obviously, it can catch some people off guard, but like. Like you mentioned, Zelda's already, uh, Ven's already playing at a bit of a distance anyway, so if you're trying to get that roller, you have to find a way to get in and then have a really solid read on top of that. So, I, yeah, I, I don't think Roller's going to be playing much of a, oh my god, a roll, but that Knight definitely is so far doing a great job. Oh, and the uh, oh. hitbox coming down is actually going to stop Ven from actually finding a way to close out that stock. Yeah. I'm sure Burst is thinking his lucky stars that that upbeat Lanny hitbox saved his life at the end, but... Has Zelda at the ledge. This is where Inkling can rack up a lot of percent. Love the Nehru's though to get rid of that ink bomb pressure. Because oh. normally that's just a really, really good ledge uh, trap for Inkling. But then just reflects it right back in his face and takes a stock for it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Trying oh. to get that ledge trap game set up. Ven's doing an amazing job at it. 70% on the oh. final stock for Burst so far. That's not going to close it out, but another one of those. Oh, I oh thought he was going to go for a down air, to be honest. And he held down so he would go past the ledge. So no threat of getting spiked there either. And Ben just picking all oh. the right options right now. Almost dying to Nehru's off the side. No. Never... Oh, man. That was so yep. hard to get past. Oh. So much pressure at the ledge. You have to worry about the night. You have to worry about the, the F smash, potential up air as well at kill percent. It's just so hard to get the right timing on that.